the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Yesterday, it was a big day in my household because it was my dog Lewis's birthday. Oh, no. And uh, he's 11. And, you know, we don't have them forever. And so I've decided to mark his special day by throwing him a birthday party at, down at the dog park. And I said to everybody, we're going to have a birthday party for Lewis. Well, 11 is... is, is uh, this, that is a big yeah. milestone. So it's plus... It's seven years for every year. Is that right? Yeah. So, yeah. 11, I, seven, I mean, 77. It fluctuates. They're going to fluctuate a little bit with breed. But, yes. Uh, so, yeah. 77. We're saying late, late 70s. Yeah. And he is a bit of a grumpy old man. Hates puppies. Like, they get in his face. Doesn't like them. Um, um, so I organised a birthday party. So what I did is I made some treats for the dogs. So, so some little bacon and eggy kind of frittata things with some cheese. You know, did so, you? yeah, yeah, because dogs like that. I'm like, what do dogs <laughs> like? They like. And I made a cake for the people um, that I said it, it celebrated Lewis's loves in love. One of his great passions, which is he loves to rip up the grass at the oval and then. Eat the dirt. <laughs> I don't get that either, now. I know, it's so weird. And and he really gets into it. So if you tell him to stop or, or you, you try and physically stop him, he knows that that's what you're doing. So he goes at it really hard. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, honestly, you've never said... It's almost like he's literally all four feet are off the ground as he's burying his snout in the... to get a mouthful of dirt. Oh, wow. I don't understand. Like, I feed him... I don't get yep. I don't get it. But anyway, I made a cake representing that. So it was a double layer chocolate cake. And then there was a, a layer of cookie crumb for the dirt. And then there was like piped grass onto the top of it with some little holes dug into it. I'll, I'll show you. The, I, took uh, a I did see that photo before. Mm. That is mm-hmm. amazing that you've Thank gone to you. this effort. But yeah, it's not every day. No, it's that's not birthday. every every day. And then I had, you know, some Prosecco and stuff for the, <laughs> for the people. And um, <laughs> just some little snacks and just laid it out. And it was all lovely. And, and I said, everybody come down and we'll have a party for Lewis's birthday. <laughs> it's really just to get together. But anyway, uh, 4.30, everybody turns up. There's lots of dogs, lots of people. Lewis, no part of it. Was not about it. So he, like, I, I'm sort of setting up and I and there's people milling around. And then I look around, I'm like, where is he? And he was the other side of the car park. Like, so between, there's a little bit of grass between the car park and Preston Point Road. Yes, probably made, yeah. major busy road at that time of day. And I'm like, come on, mate, this way. And he's like, nope, nope. I took him for a lap of the oval while everybody's hoeing into everything. And I'm like, okay, just, just come on, come back to your party. He didn't. He wanted no part of it. Now, he's had that oval every day, so he feels comfortable about yes, around all those yes. dogs, all those people anyway. But the no, fact that you threw him a party. Yes, there were no people that he wasn't familiar with. There were no dogs that he wasn't familiar with. They were all his friends, everybody. <laughs> and, but he's like, no, nah, not having it. And he eventually had to, because like, normally it's an off-lead area and all the other dogs are off-lead. I had to put him on a lead and literally drag him over, but I couldn't get him close to the little paved area where we were. I had to... Um, uh, and then... One of my friends came who dog sits for me when, mm-hmm. and, and he loves her and she had a pouch full of treats. So she just sat with him and gave him heaps of treats while I cut the, <laughs> cut the cake. Cut the cake. He wouldn't be a part of it. He wouldn't be a part of it. Hated the fact that I threw him a birthday party. That, ungrateful that, little that's, sod. That is ungrateful. But, but some people aren't into it sometimes. I mean, I it might, you might just be having an off day. He might have been having an off day. But pay, <laughs> some people don't like birthdays, let alone no, surprises, because that yes. would have been a surprise Yeah, to him. I mean, I guess he doesn't understand the concept of a birthday party. It was just his regular walk was interrupted, and I think that that was probably what he was most upset about. You, you were telling us a story uh, off air that one of your friends, you went over to their birthday. Okay, so this was this is a long time ago, and this, this little toddler would now be a grown woman, but it was a um, three-year-old's birthday party. So all week the mum had said, on Saturday it's your birthday and we're going to have a party. And every day it's, oh, the party's on Saturday, two more sleeps to your party. And on and on it went, building up the hype of the party. On the Saturday morning she wakes up and she says, it's my party today. And so, and they're like, yeah, we know. And then everybody turns up. This kid got a puppy for this birthday as well. Whoa. And so it was a big day. It's kids that were running around and there's party food and there's, you know, fairy bread. Everybody saying happy birthday there's a cake the puppy turns up it's just unbelievable then everybody starts to go home and I'm just there helping them pack up a bit and then the the child the three-year-old walks out and says can we have my party now (laughs) so she didn't know what a party was and she thought all these people here were were putting off her party can you not go home so I can have my party please well, that's funny. When you're the centre of attention, it's a it's a hard gig sometimes, Sean. Well, some people aren't into parties, you know. You're just not about <laughs> it, mate. You're not or, about or it. Or you're just having an off day. Yeah. Uh, one-year-old birthday parties tend to be big affairs, but often the birthday person is not about it. What about surprise birthday parties when you walk in and you go, I, I actually didn't want this. It's true. You're all here and you're just pissing me off. Yeah. <laughs> 
Thirteen twenty four, Tammy. Want us to talk about it? When you you're not about yes. this birthday, yeah. Or, or you might have gone to one. And when whoever so- the birthday party is for is not about the birthday party. That's what we want to talk about. Catherine's in Bicton. Morning, Catherine. Good morning, team. Thank you. Mm. Yes, um, my mum was very excited planning my dad's fiftieth birthday yes. party. Yes, yeah. she did all the bits and pieces, and we're all excited. Dad's come home from work. He's walked in the door. And he was very disappointed at the surprise party we'd thrown him because he was actually only 49. (laughs) (laughs) Catherine, how do you not know? How does your mum not know that your dad's only 49? Yes, well, this is the question that we are, were actually asking for the rest of the evening. So Dad was very disappointed and really couldn't celebrate uh, for the rest of the night, but uh, we all had a great time. <laughs> That's actually amazing. <laughs> I mean, that is a fundamental error. Yeah, yeah. Particularly when, it, when, it's, when someone says, oh, you're older than what you are, yeah, no, that I, is that is I a know, dagger, I isn't I it? Know. It doesn't matter and if it's dad. two days or, or when, a year. When he's actually yeah. 50, can you do it all over again? I don't think you can, yeah. can you? <laughs> No, the moment had gone, unfortunately. Yes. Yep, yep. Oh, oh, amazing. Thanks, That's Dad. a stiff one. Rhiannon, hello. Hello. Welcome. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, <laughs> welcome. Um, <laughs> Rhiannon, who hated their birthday party? My mum at her 50th birthday mm. party. Yeah? So Why? my mum, she, she was a mad quiz nighter and we organised a surprise birthday party, but we couldn't get her anywhere without being suspicious so we created this fake quiz night brochure. <laughs> yes. All of her friends got in on it. So she's planning for the night. She's getting a little platters ready. She's asking all her friends what they're bringing. And we planned it at a venue that would normally have a quiz night at it. So she had no suspicion whatsoever. Yeah. Pulls up into the car park and she's like, oh, it's a big quiz night. Very excited. And then she starts to see some familiar faces and she gets, oh, I didn't know they went to quiz night. I'll have to catch up with them later. Yes. And then gets into the venue. Everyone yells surprise. She turns around in disgust to her friends and says, I thought we were going to a quiz night. I'm <sighs> very disappointed. Oh. And then proceeds to, as she's going around for the evening, she proceeds to tell everyone how disappointed that they were there for her birthday party rather than being at a quiz night. <laughs> she just really she's loves a quiz night. Yeah, she wants to show off her knowledge. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's, she was there for the food a majority of the time, but, yeah, she was not a very gracious surprise birthday. <laughs> and, that, and what you did was you went to a lot of effort. You really figured out how you could get her to this party. You know, you organised a venue that would be appropriate and she did not appreciate it one bit. No, she nice. hated it. And so, and we organised on a Friday night knowing that was a prime quiz night night and we yes. had to spend the whole next day trying to find a quiz night for her to go to to placate her. <laughs> <laughs> Rhiannon. Oh, that's too funny. Thanks, Rhiannon. Judd's in Beecher. Hello. Hi. How hey, you going, Judd? Judd. Was it your birthday yesterday too? Yes. Oh, you share your birthday with my dog. It's an esteemed <laughs> date, I've got to say, Judd. Um, were you, are you a reluctant birthday person? I am. Oh, maybe it's that date. Maybe it's the day. Yes. Did okay. You... <laughs> so talk us through it. What's the What's the story? Uh, I'm a truck driver. I come home and I said to my partner uh, the day beforehand, I don't want to party. I don't want anything for my birthday. I just want it to roll over. I want to forget about it. Oh. <laughs> uh, go to my parents' house and everyone's there. My brothers, sisters, my uncle, their dog, my partner. And I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> Why, Judd? Why were you yeah, wanting what... your birthday just to roll over for? And that's, a, like, that's just a family, you know, it's not a big shindig. It's a, just a family get-together for your birthday. Yeah. Uh, it's just because I, I don't like AIDS. Um, for me, I'm 18 forever. I turned 25 yesterday. Oh, yeah. I mean, how awful for you. I'm sorry. Uh, you don't want to acknowledge that you've got it. In. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want to acknowledge that you've got another year older. Oh. You're going to be in all sorts when you hit maybe, around the 50 mark. Maybe that's Lewis's problem. He, he just maybe. Want, maybe he just wanted to be three forever, and I've made him turn 11 now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah Tom so, Hanks movie. So the 7th of May, people hate a birthday, as it turns out. Oh, Judd. And dogs, people and dogs. So, Judd, how did you suffer through it then? Uh, <laughs> I just drank a lot of coffee. I didn't. I don't like cake, so I just ate mum's homemade spaghetti, which was pretty good. So. I don't like cake. <laughs> no. Oh, Judd. Well, we're going to make a bit of a fuss of you now. Happy birthday for yesterday, Judd. Oh, great. We love Judd. He's the best. <laughs>
He's another yeah, year older. Chad. Harry yeah, birthday, Chad. Big deal. In fact, Chad, we're going to give you a $300 voucher to spend at Morris Mead. You do, Chad. Kara Stars Treatments. Oh. Every mum deserves a gift of luscious locks. Treat your mum this Mother's Day with Morris Mead. Now, no, your mum makes the yourself. best spaghetti. Keep it you yourself, can handball this to her. Yeah. <laughs> Love your work, Chad. Trade it off on some, trade it off on some spaghetti. Yeah. So we, we never would have given you that if it wasn't your birthday, Judd, so you should appreciate birthdays more, OK? Thank you, guys. <laughs> Nathan, Nat and Sean. Podcast. My check, my check. Switch on. Switch off. Let's get it going. Let mum switch off with a break in a Hayscape tiny cabin. 15% discount for midweek stays in May and June. Visit hayscape.com.au. All right, here we go. We're going to give away a two-night stay in a gorgeous little Hayscape premium cabin. That's valued at 1100 bucks. Plus, we'll uh, swing you 200 bucks cash to get there. Yes, uh, Bev and Sarah are going to go at it this morning. Oh. We'll start with you, Bev. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Bev. Um, you feeling confident? You feel like you need a getaway? Yes, yes, I do. I've mm. got three kids. I need to get away. Me and my partner, sorry. Oh. Bev, are you capable of when you go away of completely switching off? Like, are you able to, like, say you were, if you were out of range and there was no TV, would you be okay with that? I, I am, absolutely, 100%. <laughs> really I, need, I, I need that time away. <laughs> yeah, all right, well. Um, Those kids are killing this woman. Yeah, exactly. You're <laughs> up against Sarah from Rivervale. Hi, Sarah. Hello. Are Hi, your, Sarah. Are you a mum too, Sarah? I am a mum, yes. How many kids have you got? I have four. Oh. Do you feel like you need to run and hide sometimes, Sarah? <laughs> all, all the time, all the time. So a tiny cabin getaway sounds right up your alley, right? It sounds absolutely perfect. <laughs> it's <laughs> so, so adorable. Okay, here's what's going to happen. You're going to take turns. There will be three rounds. So you, we'll, we'll play you a song each. It's your job to identify the title of your song faster than your opponent identifies the title of their song, okay? okay. So when we start playing it... If you think you know the title, yell switch off. We'll stop the timer at that point. If you tell us the title, um, we'll record your time. If you get it wrong, we'll start it up again and keep going, okay? And the timer will restart. This is a timed exercise. Bev, you're going to be going first in the first round. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, we need the title of this song. That's what people say. Yes, Bev. Off. What's it called? What's it called, Bev? Shake it off. Oh, shake it off. Oh, Harry, <laughs> we go to our timekeeper, Harry, for the you time. Oh, no. You just snuck into recorded time there at all, Bev. Uh, 27.31. Oh, jeez. Mm. Uh, uh, look, Bev, it's not, a, Bev. it's not a great start, I'll be honest. <laughs> no, um, the spotlight no. got you did it, Bev. I know. All right, Sarah, remember you need to yell switch off when you think you know the oh. title. Sarah, the okay. time to beat for this round is 27.3 seconds. <laughs> Here is your song. Yes, Sarah? Castle on the Hill? Woo! Yes, Sarah. Oh. Time check, Harry. 10.45. Sarah, you take oh, round easy. one. Easy. Nah. <laughs> Okay, Easy. Sarah, in round two, you are going first, okay? So you've got to back okay. it up. All right. Are you ready? Yep. Here we go. <laughs> yes, Sarah? Is it the Macarena? Hey, it is the Macarena. Sarah. You are correct. Time check. In 6.89. 6.89. Wow. All wow. right. Um, Bev. <laughs> Remember, yep. you've got to yell switch off <laughs> nice and loudly when you know switch the name. Yeah. Uh, uh, the time to beat is 6.89 seconds. Come on, Bev, come on. Here is your song. Yes, Bev. You know it. Okay, you know it. We're going to restart. Here we go. Yes, 
<laughs> yeah, switch off, Bev. Hey, hey, I don't know. No, no you don't go, Bev. Um, it's the ketchup oh, song. Ketchup song. Yes, um, yes, I guess. You Sarah. knew it straight off the bat when you heard it, didn't you, Bev? I did, yeah. I did. I know that song. I know. Um, Sarah's won, everyone. Oh. Oh. Sarah's won. She's a clean sweet, Sarah. Oh, congratulations. Sarah, getting away from the four kids who want a two-night stay in a hey, 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 scape cabin. <laughs> Valued at eleven hundred bucks plus two hundred dollars cash to travel to your destination. That is thanks to Hayscape. Well played, Sarah. Oh, thank you so much. Nathan, Nat, and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au. Nova.